hi CLM stars welcome back to my channel if you're not a CLM star and you're seeing my face for the first time hit the subscribe button down below it's absolutely free so you can join the CLM family okay okay <laughs> in today's video I'm going to teach you guys three ways to drape on a skirt without a dress form So for the first method, you want to go ahead and fold a good amount of your fabric inward like that so that um, it doesn't come out, all right? You want to be using a good amount of fabric because since you're draping, um, you want to have more fabric and then obviously you can trim out the excess. Now start by pinning, um, you know, the first layer and then go ahead and create pleats. So this first method of draping is simply pleating your fabric. Now you can decide to just use knife pleats or box pleats whatever kind of pleats you want to use you can go ahead and use it for this particular um, illustration i'm using a combination of knife pleats and box pleats that's what i showed you at first but then i changed my mind and decided to use all knife pleats okay so honestly you just have to go ahead and play around with it so make sure you pin the sides all right you have to pin the sides as you are draping now whether you're draping with a mannequin whether you're draping with a dress form or you're draping directly on your piece, one of the most important things you need are your pins, okay? You want to be able to pin um, on different areas so that it stays put until you can take it to your sewing machine and actually sew it. So this is the first way you can drape with pleats. Now, the second way you can drape is by creating gathers, okay? So, all you have to do now is just use your fingers to just gather your fabric, okay? Just use your fingers to pick little, little, little um, bits of your fabric and then just gather it. Now, these um, gathers are not as defined as um, pleats. With pleats, you can actually measure the width of your pleats. But with gathers, there's no measurement. You just try to make it, you just try to um, pick small, 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 small um, bits of your fabric and then just make sure you pin along pin as you are gathering okay very important so that you retain um you know that particular gathered design now when you are um draping with gathers it's important that you you gather the fabric on one side first before you gather on the other side but if you were but if you're draping with um the pleated design which is the first one i showed you or the pleated method you want to pleat on one side pin it and then pin the other side as well now when i'm done gathering one side this is what it looks like so what i'll do is just go ahead and pin the other side as well and then sew it down and this is what the gathered um draping looks like now for the third method um of draping this one is actually um developed from the second method which is the gathered method so what you want to do now is take out some of your pins so you have like a very this this particular draping style is very it's quite it's a bit random actually it's not as defined as the pleats neither is it as defined as the gathers okay now for this random method it's kind of a combination of the pleats method and the gathered method because like i said it's quite random okay so once you have what you want just go ahead and sew one side and then do the same thing on the other side as well okay now obviously you want to like i said you want to do the same thing on the other side so try to replicate what you did on one side on the other side though like i said it's random it's not as defined but whatever you do on one side try to um you know replicate it on the other side so if you kind of created like a gathered effect on one side make sure that that's the same thing you have on the other side and if you did like pleats on one side make sure you do the pleats again on the other side so for this particular method you can actually combine pleats and gathers okay when you're draping for this random method now for the first method you used only pleats for the second method you use only gathers but with this one you can actually combine both of them and that's why i said it's a random style of draping and that's actually the method i was actually or the look i was actually going for and that's what i actually did so once you have what you want pin it in place and make sure you sew that down and then trim out all the excess fabric okay thanks for watching guys <laughs> 